Hey guys, Luke for Smith here. This is going to be a. It was going to be an unboxing, but I wanted to put it up because I just got him today and it is Halloween today, so I wanted to get him up as quick as possible. This is the six foot animated skeleton butler that I got from Asda's. Um, as you can see, he is quite tall. He has a metal base right there. And he's one of those things that you have to put together. He's, he's he's a very modular, like little thing. Like you put him in parts. So he has you put you put the base together. You put the feet on there. You put the poles on. You put his trousers on. You put the center piece on. You put the framework on, and then you put the big modular bit bit on as well. He is a um, like I said, he's a skeleton butler bit like uh, this one here which I had for ages for many many years um, but this one is I believe it is new um, for Asda's this year this is the box it came in as you can see here 50 pounds um, if that does it the right way um, yeah, this was £50 uh, a few days ago when it was in the Asda in Watford So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, probably going to be getting it next year when it gets a little bit cheaper And then I was in the um, S Essex to do a few errands today And it was £25 Yeah, something like this for £25, that is pretty good You really want, 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 want him for that Um it says George Asda on it. George is one of the, um, a, a range from Asda. Um, also, if, you don't, if you're an American and you don't know what Asda is, it's the Walmart of the, of the UK. It's basically, Asda is essentially a Walmart in the UK. But we just changed the name because we didn't want it to sound the same. Um, this one stands six foot tall. Um, he's a butler so it holds drinks and cakes and things on its um, little dish here. It's a metal dish as well, not, not a cheap plastic one uh, like, like this one here. Um, it has realistic, I'm, I'm going to be bringing the camera in for a better look in a second. Real, Semi-realistic um, plastic hands. Um, also it has got like tufts of hair on its head like a really old man skeleton butler even though I'm pretty sure skeletons don't have um don't have hair also wibbly wobbly head um it's like a spring um loaded head um he he is animated he's sound activated uh and I think he's motion activated as well and he does have a little button on his um, on his sleeve where you can push it and um, work it like that. Uh, his mouth moves, and when his mouth moves, his head sort of jiggles about, m making it look like he's he, he's re really going at it, m moving his head like that. And I should have done his bow tie a little bit better. The actual clothing is really good on him, not bad. Um, Stained look like a what is like a silky um, shirt thing that has been sewn into his jacket. Here it's got the buttons and everything. It's like an old stained tarnished shirt, um, so it looks old fashioned. Um, hollowed out eyes. And what was interesting on the box, um, it actually says down here. Down here it says um, it is motion activated and um, he makes sounds but this bit here is a sticker and it's covering a word up. I actually took part of the sticker off on the top and um, it was a misprint because it actually said it lights up as well. Which I'm assuming some models have um, lights in the eyes so I'm assuming that's where the lights are but that must have been a misprint on, on this model it's a shame it didn't have lights in the eyes though because that would have been pretty cool um, so yeah I'm actually going to activate him 
so we will see. Uh, he already had batteries in him, by the way, uh, so that was pretty cool. Let's just activate him and we'll see. As you can see, his head jiggles when it does it. I think it's right this way. As you can see, it's got a decent amount of um, phases. I think four or five uh, was there. Um, as you can see, the head giggles about and it actually giggles his hands as well. So it's really nice. The actual poles and, and the frames in the, in in this, it is sturdy and it has, it's clipped in. So uh, let me just take you off the tripod and I'll be able to show you a little bit more. Okay, um, let's start from the bottom. I'm actually going to show you a little bit closer about what I mean. Here's the two feet here. It should be on that side very well. Here's what I mean by the actual um, setup of him. It's one of those basically you clip it in there and it's got little clips so it keeps it in. Same on the other side. And then basically here, I don't know if you can see it, it's a little bit dark in there. Um, there's actually like a T-shape here, and there's like a plastic pole in the middle that holds hold the rest of them up, and his little module is in the back of him. Um, so let's have a look at the quality of the hands. Nice, nice decent quality work here. It's got one under there holding the holding it up and I just noticed something like this one is more fleshy and human because like that one ain't completely rotted yet and this is basically just pop drinks or whatever on there um, this arm is poseable also on here is the um, twimey switch um, here's basically the shirt you can see it tarnished it, it looks better in real life um, believe me um, here is the detail on the face and the head. Yeah, this is where the LED light should be if it was the LED model, but I can't even feel anything in there. You can see it wobbles about, and this is basically the hair. I believe it goes all the way around him. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, I show you the actual spring in there. If you can see it, there, there it is there, it actually wobbles about, there's a wire going up to the head as well. This thing came with batteries already installed, so that was really good, really nice. Let me just move him a little bit to the side. So you can actually see the, um, the back of him, the little module that he has. I know this is a little bit dark, so you're going to have to bear with me. Yeah, there's the module inside, there's the instructions there. Um, he also has a, a switch somewhere. Yeah, he has him right here. Like there, there, there's the actual switch. There's off, on, which is the button, and then the sensor. I think up is the sensor, middle is off or button and then down there's button as well um, there we are light, light sensor as well um, he takes um, batteries the, I can't really see the battery compartment but I think he actually takes um, the larger size batteries I was almost certain that 
he he would have got a adapter, but it looks like he doesn't. Um, he didn't say in the instructions an adapter. Also, the instructions was easy, just like one sheet of paper. So that was pretty good. So yeah, and nothing more I can say about this. Twenty-five pounds for Master. That would be um, if this was sold in America. That would be about. Uh, fifty dollars a little bit less something like that so this is good for a horn or something for a budget oh, on, on, on the budget really nice um also yeah i am six foot and i am just as tall as you can see there i know it ain't doing it justice but yeah i'm a little bit shy of his height um, mostly because he's actually on the um, he's actually on there, and I'm not quite sure if that makes him like half an inch taller though. So I'm I'm really not quite sure. So yeah, that was the review of the animated skeleton butler. Um, I do not have another video to record because I want to record all my animatronics today uh, for tomorrow's video. But this video will be. The Halloween video. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and have a really nice Halloween.